Hey guys, Flex the Football Observer here, and today's video is going to be a Premier League preview show, previewing game 14 of the Premier League season 2019-2020. There are some big encounters coming up this weekend, and of course, with the games coming thick and fast, the Premier League is beginning to take shape. So, without further ado, let's begin. We're going to begin with the Premier League leaders Liverpool who entertain Brighton at Anfield in one of the multiple 3 o'clock games to take place on Saturday. Liverpool remain undefeated so far this season and have an 8 point gap at the top of the table following their latest result which was a 2-1 victory over Crystal Palace last weekend. Whilst Brighton were beaten 2-0 by Leicester in their last game. Will the Reds maintain their unbeaten start or will the Seagulls stun Liverpool here? This game on paper should be one of the more easier games to predict this weekend, you feel. Liverpool unbeaten this season so far, always managing to find a way to get a job done so far. And with the setting being Anfield, it suggests that this fixture should go in the Reds' favour. However, of course, games aren't won on paper and Liverpool will have to be cautious that an upset or a mistake doesn't occur here. Brighton have been a mixed bag this season and aren't to be taken lightly by any means. But in spite of that, I still think the Reds will win here and I'm going to predict a 3-0 Liverpool win and say that Sadio Mane will be amongst the goals. For our next game, we're looking at Saturday's lunchtime fixture as Newcastle United take on Manchester City at St James's Park. Newcastle lost 2-0 to Aston Villa on Monday night as the Magpies' inconsistent season continued whilst Manchester City got back to winning ways in their last game thanks to a 2-1 victory over Chelsea last Saturday. Will Newcastle upset City here, or will City keep up their pursuit of both Liverpool and Leicester at the top of the table? This is a game you feel that should have a City victory written all over it. Again, as I mentioned with the Liverpool game previously, games aren't won on paper. City will have to be cautious that this isn't a potential banana skin because we've already seen Newcastle beat both Tottenham and City's rivals Manchester United this season. And of course, City have already slept up on multiple occasions themselves. But I don't see Newcastle winning this one in all honesty. And I think Pep Guardiola's side will break Newcastle down. And to be honest, I think it could be a pretty ugly scoreline. I am predicting a 3-0 City victory in this one. Our next game brings us to one of the Sunday games where Manchester United hosts Aston Villa at Old Trafford. United played out of an entertaining 3-3 draw with Sheffield United last time out, whilst Aston Villa beat Newcastle 2-0 in their encounter on Monday night. Will United pick up their fifth win of the season here, or will Villa pick up back-to-back -back league wins in this game? An interesting game lies ahead in this one. You've got the inconsistency of Manchester United against Aston Villa, a side who have the worst away record so far this season. Villa do like to get the ball down and play football, and as we've seen, that teams that play that way against United can hurt them. And with the likes of Jack Grealish, John McGinn and Conor Hurrihane, Villa have the players that can hurt United. But with it being at Old Trafford and United managing to pick up some decent results in recent weeks, maybe this will end with a United win. I can see Villa getting something from this game, but I think I'm going to give the edge to United here and say that Ole Gunnar Solskjaer's side will win 2-1 with Marcus Rashford continuing his good goal scoring form. Next, we've got a London derby on our hands, or maybe it's a Frank Lampard derby, whatever you want to call it as Chelsea hosts West Ham at Stamford Bridge. In their last game, Chelsea saw their six-game winning streak come to an end at the hands of Manchester City as Pep Guardiola's side won 2-1 last weekend, whilst West Ham are on a shocking run of form, with increasing pressure growing on manager Manuel Pellegrini, as the Hammers are currently on a seven-game winless streak, with their latest result being a 3-2 loss to Tottenham last Saturday. Which side will get back to winning ways here? Could this be the last we see of Manuel Pellegrini as West Ham manager? It very well could be. You'd think this game should end with a Chelsea win, but again, it's about being professional and getting the job done. West Ham getting something from this game isn't completely out of the question, and if they do, it might just buy Pellegrini some time. Could even spark a turnaround in fortune for him, but it's highly unlikely. You'd probably assume that the writing is on the wall for him, and if my prediction of a Chelsea victory comes true, then I think he will most likely be gone 
after this result, especially considering what December holds for West Ham as a club. I'm going to say a 3-1 Chelsea victory. Carrow Road plays host to our next game of focus as Norwich take on Arsenal in another 3 o'clock game on Saturday. The Canaries ended their 7-game winless streak last time out with a 2-0 victory over Everton at Goodison Park, whilst Arsenal are on a 5-game winless streak themselves with their latest result being a 2-2 draw with Southampton thanks to a last gasp for Alexander Lacazette goal as Unai Emery faces increasing pressure and his job increasingly under threat. Will Norwich possibly put the final nail in the coffin of Emery or will Arsenal return to winning ways in this game? Norwich will certainly fancy their chances here. Arsenal, despite having on paper a good attacking team, do not play to their strengths that often and the shackles seem to still be on their more creative and flair-like players, restricting them from being the bright, open and exciting team we all think they should or could be. And defensively, of course, they're still very poor. Maybe that could be the encouragement Timu Puki needs to break his goal-scoring duck. I can definitely see Norwich taking something from this game and increasing the pressure on Arsenal and Unai Emery. And again, this could be the last game that we see Emery as Gunnar's boss. So I'm going to predict a 2-2 draw here with Timu Puki and Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang scoring for their respective clubs. High-flying Leicester meets struggling Everton in another Sunday game at the King Power Stadium. Leicester are still in second this season following their latest result which was a 2-0 victory over Brighton last weekend whilst Everton lost 2-0 to Norwich as Marco Silva is another manager whose job is under serious threat. And with that being said, this could be his last game in the Toffees dugout. Will Leicester continue their form and make it six wins on the bounce here or will Everton stun Leicester and possibly buy Silva some more time? Another manager whose fate seems sealed and it's only a matter of time before Everton make the call for him to be sacked. Marco Silva is under serious threat of losing his job by Christmas. They're currently in 16th and have some huge fixtures coming up in the next few weeks. And they're not fairly favourable ones either. As for Leicester, they're flying high and will be looking to keep ahead of Manchester City and look to either close the gap on Liverpool or maintain their points gap behind the Reds. My prediction is for Leicester to win this game with their form both in terms of goal scoring and defending. I can't see Everton winning this game at all and I'm going to say a 3-1 Leicester win with Jamie Vardy continuing his good goal scoring form. Jose Mourinho takes charge of his first home league game as Tottenham manager when he clashes with Eddie Howe's Bournemouth at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium in our next game of focus. Mourinho's first league game as Spurs manager was a successful one as Spurs ran out 3-2 winners against West Ham, whilst Bournemouth's inconsistent season continued with their last result being a 2-1 loss to Wolves. Will Spurs make it back-to-back -back wins or will Bournemouth get back to winning ways in this one? Will be interesting game ahead this one. Uh, Tottenham have scored 7 goals in their last 2 games under Mourinho but have also conceded 4 in those games as well. Bournemouth have been inconsistent and haven't won in their last couple of games and it sets up a very open and end-to-end -end game potentially in store. As far as a prediction goes, I can see Bournemouth possibly getting something from this game but I'm going to be a little bit safer in my prediction and I'm going to go with a Tottenham win and I'm going to say a 2-1 Spurs win is just in store for this game. Fifth meets sixth as Wolves take on Sheffield United at Molyneux on Sunday at 2 o'clock. Wolves beat Bournemouth last time out two goals to one, while Sheffield United played out an entertaining 3-3 draw with Manchester United last Sunday. Will Wolves stretch their eight-game unbeaten run, or will the Blades stretch their own six-game unbeaten run? This is set up to be an intriguing and exciting game in store. Both sides come into this one in decent form, both sides play some nice football at times and have the potential to mix it up and both have players that can hurt the opposition. It's one of the more difficult games to call this weekend but I'm going to predict a 2-1 Wolves win. I wouldn't be surprised whichever way this result goes in all honesty. In many ways I can see the Blades possibly getting something from this game but I'm just going to give the slight edge to Wolves here but only just. Two managers who are under pressure clash in Saturday's evening fixture as Southampton hosts Watford at St Mary's. 
The Saints were denied a victory in their last outing by a last minute Alexander Lacazette goal for Arsenal as the Gunners rescued a point in a 2-2 draw with the Saints whilst Watford suffered a bit of a thumping at the hands of Burnley with the Clarets running out 3-0 winners last weekend. Which side will add 3 points to their points tally here? The Saints will have been kicking themselves for conceding that last minute goal last weekend but there was enough in that performance alone to suggest that they can turn their form around. As for Watford, you'd have thought they could have kicked on with their season following their first victory a few weeks ago but obviously against Burnley that didn't occur and now both sides come into this game in a must win situation and that's why it sets up for a draw right? To be honest that wouldn't surprise me. A must win game that ends in a draw is certainly a possibility here, a likely result with all things considered and especially given how the Saints have the worst home record so far this season. But I'm going to actually chuck form out the window for my prediction here. I'm going to actually say that the Saints will win this game and I'm going to predict 2-1 to Ralph Hasenhutl's side. And finally, we're at Turf Moor as the Clarets take on the Eagles. Burnley entertain Crystal Palace in another 3pm game on Saturday. The Clarets won their first away game of the season last time out with a 3-0 victory over Watford, whilst Palace put in a strong performance against Liverpool, but the Reds just edged past them in a 2-1 victory for them. Will Burnley make it three wins on the bounce here, or will Palace get back to winning ways in this game? Big game for Palace this, they've had some really tough fixtures over the past month or so and haven't won in their last five games but now they're back to opposition that are on a similar level to them and it will be interesting to see how they cope with this fixture against the Burnley side of course who have the fifth best home record so far this season but of course Burnley are inconsistent overall and it sets up an intriguing fixture ahead. My prediction though is a 2-2 draw. This game has the potential to go any which way and that's why I'm calling it right down the middle here. And that wraps up this Premier League preview show for game 14 of the 2019-2020 season. Guys, if you have any thoughts, comments or predictions of your own on any of this round's fixtures, let me know in the comment section below. Otherwise, hit that like button on the way out if you enjoyed the video, subscribe if you're new and want to see more content like this. Both things would be greatly appreciated. And as always, thank you all so much for watching and listening. I've been Fletch the Football Observer. This has been another Premier League preview show and I will see and speak with you all again soon in another video.